Back in the Duluth area, the president's visit is still the talk of the town. The visit went so well here, there are serious talks about Mr. Bush coming back again before Election Day. The president's staff says they were pleased with the warm reception their boss got in Duluth, and people with the deck say they have heard rave reviews from the Bush campaign. We did have a chance to wrap up the event with both the Secret Service last night and the advance team and the press uh, advance person, and they were thrilled. So it's just I think everybody's relieved uh, that it, everything went off as well as it did, and he got out of here safely. And uh, I think from the Republican organizers' point of view, uh, they were very, very pleased with the coverage that they got and the response from the community. Minnesota and Wisconsin are both swing states, so it wouldn't be a surprise if we saw visits from both President Bush and John Kerry again before Election Day. Now, in case you missed it, the president called the place north of Duluth the Iron Ridge during his speech here last evening. Iron Range reporter Sandy Drag joins us, and Sandy, folks are talking about this blunder. Denny, mistakes like this don't ever go over easy, especially for the people who actually live on what the president is calling the Iron Ridge. I'm really glad to be back. I appreciate the good folks from Minnesota and Iron Ridge and northern Wisconsin who are with us today. Just minutes into his speech, the crowd cringed and the people on the Iron Range were scratching their heads. Where is this Iron Ridge? So is that in Michigan someplace? Well, iron is processed into pellets at the six taconite plants in the area, but a ridge? Yeah, it's right down on the end of the street. Really? It's a big pit down there. <laughs> He's right. There are ridges in the abandoned mine pits in northeastern Minnesota. There are ridges in the tires that help move heavy machinery. You can find ridges in the potato chips served at Adventures in Virginia. People hit golf balls at Giants Ridge in Bawabic. Heck, the area even has a rigid lawmaker. Richard Eveleth might know. After all, his family helped name a local town. I'd say I don't understand. Tony Sertich represents this Iron Ridge. Uh, it's in Wisconsin. I found it, I googled, I went on the computer and found it. It's actually in Wisconsin and George Bush is there today, so maybe his advanced people were one day too advanced for him. It's safe to say there may not be an Iron Ridge around here, but there are definitely a lot of snickering people from the Iron Range. As Representative Sertich pointed out, there actually is an Iron Ridge. It's in Wisconsin, about 20 miles from where the president was today. And I suspect this will be talked about 35 years from now. I don't think it's going to be forgotten anytime <laughs> soon. Not anyway. for a while. All right, Sandy, thank you.